Fine. Video? Video it is. Alright. What I want to do is I want to show you guys how to use the cross product now. We have a little bit different here because usually when we did the cross product, we had something easier. We had like, um, let's do like four thirds and you had like 12 is to x, right? And we did this cross product and it was pretty easy. You did four times x equals three times 12, right? And you knew you just took cross product of two of them you multiply them, and that equaled the cross product of the other ones, right? Mm -hmm. Might want to be writing this stuff down, checking in, because remember, you're going to take a quiz, yeah. So here, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take the cross product. So I have 5 times 4 equals, now we have, a, we have a little bit of difficulty here because we have 12 times x plus 1. Well, the way that we want to represent x plus 1 is 12 times x plus 1. All right, because you're multiplying that 12 times both of those terms. So that's why we put it in parentheses. And once we have it in parentheses, we can use our lovely distributive property to remind us that we have to multiply that 12 times the x and the 12 times the 1. Therefore, we get 20 equals 12x um, plus 12. Subtract 12. So I get 8 equals 12x. And then now I have to uh, get rid of my 12 by dividing. And therefore, I get x is equal, and I can reduce this fraction to is going to be 2 thirds. Anybody have any questions on that? No, maybe? Pretty cool stuff, isn't it?